If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a question, comment, suggestion, or maybe you just want to find out more information about the product, you can find the link below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds with FreeGameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Antac EasySwap M2500 and M3500 mobile racks. Now the M2500 and the M3500 racks are pretty much the same with the exception of drive form factor, drive capacity, and the amount of drives that you can install in each. The M2500 models, which by the way only support two and a half inch drives, come in three different models a 4 bay, 8 bay, and 12 bay. Now the M3500 models support both 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch drives and they come in four different models. A 1 bay, 3 bay, 4 bay, and a 5 bay. The boxes are fairly plain but they do sum up what the product is all about. They are packaged really well with quality styrofoam. Included is the rack itself, serial ATA data cables, two keys, screws for both mounting the rack as well as mounting the drives inside of the rack, and an installation guide. Now all of these racks are designed to work in rack mounts and standard computer cases. Of course the larger racks would require full tower cases and it's worth mentioning that in many situations even full tower cases sometimes do not have enough drive support internally, especially if you're building a robust server. So adding a rack in the five and a quarter inch drive bays would be an excellent solution. So these drives are perfectly comfortable in a hardcore work work server environment or a home server. Just so you know, the M2500 racks are at the top. These are the ones that only accept two and a half inch drives. And at the bottom are the M3500 racks and these support two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives. Now many racks are plastic and what tends to happen is the plastic cracks and it breaks. But thankfully these are aluminum. They come with an aluminum frame which is going to be stronger as well as more durable. And as an added bonus, it has great heat dissipation. Also they come with vibration reducing springs which will come in handy for mechanical drives and they support six gigabits per second serial ATA 1, 2 and 3 hard drives as well as serial ATA drives and SAS 1 and 2 hard drives and serial ATA drives. Now as for capacity, well the M2500 models support up to two terabyte drives per bay and the M3500 models support up to four terabyte drives per bay. Plus, they are hot swappable, and this is super convenient as you can remove and install drives on the fly. This is super easy to do, and it needs less downtime. As well, RAID support is possible on the multi-drive models, and is only limited really to the RAID controller the drives are attached to. Also, they support Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. Now let's have a closer look around the M3500 four bay rack. At the front, you've got the four bays. These come out by pulling here, and then you can slide the whole bay out. You can install either a three and a half inch or two and a half inch drive on the inside. As well, you can lock this using the included key. Now on the right, you've got a number of LEDs. These are for the drives. Also, there's one for the fan and temperature. Now the LEDs for all of these will change color. It really depends on what's going on. So let's start at the top, the temperature LED. If it is green, that means everything is normal. But if it's red, that means you're exceeding the set temperature. And as for the LEDs for the drives, if it's green, that means it's powered on. Green with an orange blink means there's disk activity. Red means the drive is powered, but there's no data connection at the back. No LED means no power to the drive bay, and there's no drive in the tray. On either side, there are many holes for mounting it either in a rack mount or computer case. On all of the M3500 multi-drive racks, you pretty much have these connections. They might be in different places, but they are there. They include two serial ATA power connections, 
as well as two dip switches. One is for turning off the hard drive LEDs on the front. To the left is on and to the right is off. This dip switch is for adjusting the speed of a fan. To the left is high speed and to the right is the low speed. On the right are the data connections. They include an 80 millimeter quiet fan. And on the left is a bunch of jumpers and these are for setting the temperature threshold as well as drive options. Like for example, if you want to have serial ATA drives and or SAS drives. Now this is the single M3500 rack. As you can see, there is only one LED for hard drive activity. At the back, they do not include a fan, but it looks like you can install one. This is a dip switch for turning the hard drive LEDs on or off. Here's the serial ATA power connection and the data connection. Now the 2500 two and a half inch racks really have the same general layout, except of course, this particular model accepts only two and a half inch drives. And because of that, they've changed a few things. It locks the same way, but there is no cover. It opens exactly exactly the same. You just pull it out, install the drive, and slip it back into place. Now, the LED layout is a little bit different. Now, while the M2500 four bay rack doesn't have a temperature and fan LED in the middle, the eight bay one does, and so does the 12 bay one. If the temperature is normal, there is no LED. If it exceeds the safe temperature, it will turn a solid red. Now, if the fan is normal, there's no LED, but if there is a fan failure, it will turn a solid red. On this particular unit, there are eight drive status LEDs, and depending upon what's going on, the LED will change color. If it is green, the power is on. If it's orange, the disc is being accessed. If there is no LED, there is no power to the drive bay and no drive is in the tray. Again, holes on either side for mounting it either in a rack mount or a computer case. Pretty much the same here at the back as the M3500 racks, except as you can see, they have varying fan sizes. The four drive model has two 40 millimeter fans. The eight drive model has a 70 millimeter fan and the 12 drive model has an 80 millimeter fan. But you have the standard serial ATA power connections here are all of the data connections as well as the jumper for adjusting the hard drive activity fan and temperature as well as two switches one for the fan you can adjust the fan speed to low which is 2400 rpms or high 3000 rpms and you have the option of turning the hard drive activity led on or off now let's have a listen to the fans this is actually the 70 millimeter fan that is on the m3500 three bay model the m3500 four and five bay models come with 80 millimeter fans so first on the low speed And now, the high speed. Now the 80 millimeter fan, again at the low speed first. And now the high speed. And by the way, all of these fans move the warm air out the back of the rack. Now this is the M2500 four bay rack with the two 40 millimeter fans. Have a listen. Whether you need a single drive rack or a multi-drive rack, Vantech has it covered with their M2500 and M3500 models. These look fantastic. They are all aluminum. You can lock them. Very informative LEDs on the front. Easy to install drives as well. They are hot swappable. Now as for performance, that really depends on the drives that you install as well. What kind of RAID setup that you have. But all things considered, these racks are 100% kick-ass. Until next time, take care. How do you think this product stacks up? To vote, head on over to 3dgamingman.com and while you're there, check out the pricing.